is it really worth skipping Emily and Genshin Impact? Now, we already talked about how Emily might be the most skipped character just because he is the 4 Natlins 5.0 update to Genshin Impact. Not to mention she's in the second phase of 4.8. So she really is sandwiched here and it's just an unfortunate situation. Now, Emily comes out right before Natlin, so does that mean that Emily might be good for some Natlin characters? We can already expect there to be some Pyro characters, we've already seen the Pyro Archon being teased in the, you know, teaser trailer thing. So, we already know that we're going to get some Pyro characters. Is it really worth skipping Emily to get those Natlin characters? The Natlin characters that we could expect to see in 5.0 of Genshin Impact are Kenich, Mualani, um, we've seen, you know, a bunch of other ones, but those are the two that I remember seeing in like a weird teaser section of the 4.7 trailer, I think, if I, you know, if I'm recalling correctly. We already saw them being teased on Twitter anyway, so that, I mean, I'm assuming those are the characters that are going to be on 5.0. Emily is releasing on the second phase of 4.8 and she looks to be a pretty good character. She has a new mechanic, the burning thing situation. Um, it, it's She just focuses on burning a lot and that's why people are sort of you know, shying away from obtaining Emily. Though I do think she has a lot of promise and she's probably going to be pretty good with the Natlin characters. Now, me personally, um, I do kind of really want Emily purely for content purposes and I do think she'll be good for the Natlin characters but I also really really want to save for either Kinnich or Moalani or whoever so I'm really at a crossroads here and that is why I think that you guys might be as well. Now I already made a video as I said about Emily might be the most skipped character that we've had in a really long time or just generally the most skipped because she's right before Natlin and we, we already know that the Natlin live stream is coming up pretty soon so we don't really have that much time to think about whether Emily is going to be great or not but what I do know is once the live stream is out we're going to see some of the characters gameplay we are going to see maybe Kinnich's gameplay, maybe Mawalani. We're going to see some new characters and how they work. And maybe, potentially, we might see Emily in some of those teams. And if we do, it is a confirmation that Emily might be a great pull for those Natlin characters. And she is going to synergize pretty well with those characters as well, making her a great pickup no matter what. She's already going to be good. She's going to be in Pyro team. She's going to be with Hu Tao, with Arlecchino, with whoever else that deals that Pyro DPS. Hell, she would be pretty good with the Pyro Archon. That is a fact. So the fact that that is a situation that's going to happen already makes me think that she is going to be a decent pickup anyway. Now that the live stream is going to come out, we're going to see how those characters specifically play. So Kinnich, we're going to see his gameplay. Whether he's a DPS, whether he's a WDPS, whether he's support, I don't know. We're going to see how these characters work and we're going to see whether they synergize well with Emily. And that is a really important thing and actually the main thing that we're talking about here. We already talked about how, you know, Emily has similarities to the time when Kazaha came out, right? That's before the region and it's. Uh, people thought hey i'm just gonna skip Kazaha, right and then just go for the next characters it's sort of the similar you know a similar fashion a lot of people did disagree with me that they said oh it's not the same thing well i agree with you it's not exactly the same thing but there are similarities in that she is releasing a patch before the new region comes out and that that is just that is the similarity i made so there is that. I want to know, are you going to be trying to get Emily in the next patch or are you going to be saving up and trying to get the Natlan characters first and then maybe try to get Emily on a rerun? I want to know why too. Let me know in the comment section. 
personally, I think I might just, just maybe, just maybe summon on Emily. Maybe give like 10 or 20 pulls. And if I don't get her then, then I'll just save up for the new characters. Because I do have a guarantee. I do in fact have a guarantee. So there's there's that whole situation. So yeah. Um, that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm really excited for it. I just want to know what you guys are going to do. See you guys in the next video very soon.